join us at Chester Park once again as we let Ella take us on a, on a walk. <laughs> she picking a road adventure. Mm. We had an easy day, um, although I did do some painting on the Star Wars blaster. You and see we, shooting zombies. <clears throat> yeah, I've been waiting for the paint for that to dry. I uh, played on my Xbox. I haven't played on my Xbox for whew, a long time. So played on that, and now we're taking Ella for a walk at the park. Look at the pretty colours. I know, the autumn colours are coming in. And there's our favourite tree. Yeah, and our favourite tree over there, if you remember from the last one. So, it's having a nice spot, but later on, I will show you where I've gotten to with the Star Wars blaster. The plan is to, um, the paint, the undercoat of black that I've put on, the gloss black, should be dry by the time I go in. So I'm going to put the chrome paint on the airbrush and uh, then I'll let that dry for a day or so before tackling the, the lacquer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that one's pretty there, there's another pretty tree. It's gorgeous. So yeah, let's, let's take our nice evening stroll. Well, I say evening, it's what? Or what time is it? It's about five. It's five to five. Okay, it's it is early evening. Early evening, early evening stroll. The last ringing out the rest dregs of summer. <laughs> so, and the the park. Um, this park's quite nice because you you can take a, a corner of it and just call it your own for a while. Nobody disturbs you. And Ella has been a little sod. <laughs> she catapults herself up the stairs. So yeah. And the dogs are allowed in here, you just gotta keep them on the lead. Although some people don't take any notice of that. We have the Mars Garden. Formerly Snickers. Before finding <laughs> then becoming Mars. Mars took it over. Um We haven't been around this bit before. Um, it doesn't matter where you go though, there's always a discarded Tunnock's tea cake box. Is it, that's the way of the world? It's the way of the world, it's it's sad. It's kind of like a little maze, but, well not a maze, you go around in a circle, like this. Ooh. You don't want to go this way. You don't want to go this way, this way is to see the castle. It's like a Pokemon. We found something. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a big metal, a big metal Pokemon. It does look like a Pokemon. It looks like it should be a Pokemon. It looks like one of the trolls from the um, sewers in Labyrinth. Yes, it does. And Ella's trying to pull it down. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the more Apollo walks that way, the more Ella goes the same way. <laughs> She's very silly. So let's join us later, where I'm going to be putting the chrome paint to the blaster. And here's Tony feeding the duck ducks. Well, I say ducks. The ducks aren't getting a look in, the swans are getting it all. Isn't that right, Ellie? What's Daddy doing? Is he feeding the duckies? Swans are like, nope. It's all right, he's not going anywhere without you, Ella. Ellie. Dun, dun, dun. Hi baby. What's wrong? Yeah, it's daddy over there. It's a nasty swan's gonna get him. Good evening ladies and gents. We are back home. Ella was snoozing at the bottom of the bed. She's worn out. She's worn out after our lovely trip to the park. And it was very lovely, wasn't it? Was it was nice. We saw ducks. Yes, we saw ducks. We fed the ducks. We fed the swans. 
Um, but I did say I would, I'd update you on the Star Wars blaster. Again, it was a near disaster. It's been a stressful afternoon. It has. I, as you know, I sprayed it with some gloss black. Then I sprayed it again with the gloss black primer for Alclad. And then I spray, started spraying it with the chrome paint. And there was some kind of reaction. And I was getting like a... Like a, it was like a frosting, white frosting on it, wasn't it? Not all over, just certain parts. So I, I waited for it to dry a little bit, then rubbed it ever so slightly. And then I sprayed it again with some other chrome paint that I have. And that seemed to rescue it. Um, so I've then put the first light coatings of um, the Aqua Gloss on top of that. And uh, it seems to be okay at the moment. In fact, let's just show you one piece. I'll just grab one piece. Now, here's uh, the handle piece section, obviously. Now, when I first put the all-clad um, chrome paint on, I was getting like a frosting down here, around there, and a little bit here. Everywhere else was fine. All around this section here, all down the back end, on the other side, absolutely fine, apart from a little area here. But but yeah, it was like this weird white frosting. So like I said, I rubbed it a little bit, and then I put over the... What did I actually use again? It was this paint here. The AK Interactive Chrome. I put that over the top. And then the Alclad Aqua Gloss. And it seems to have saved it. Um... I've got a nice metal mirrored finish still, thanks to that all clad um, aqua gloss. So I'm just I'm I'm gonna leave this till tomorrow again before I start um, piecing it together. I do have one piece that I need to finish to put on the back of here. I just wanted to get the main gun section finished first. But yeah, it was it was a very strange one, wasn't it? It was really mm -hmm. strange. We could not work out why. Obviously, there was some kind of chemical reaction that was that was causing it, but for the life of me, I couldn't work out what it was because I've done exactly the same thing on the Blade Runner um, pistol. Blade Runner Bastard, when I was doing that, I did exactly the same process. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what happened there. But it's been rescued anyway. Uh, the other two pieces, I, I, I put a piece of wire through and put through the sections obviously that don't need paint because obviously the um handle grips go on here um so I'm, and, I, and i'm actually going to be scraping some of the paint off here and here and the same on both sides here and here just so the soup glue has something to adhere to but yeah very very strange no idea why i did that but i've rescued it anyway in actual fact here's the other pieces i thought i'd get these down to show you as well um it doesn't matter if the paint's missing inside these sections because these are getting weathered with black oil paint anyway once I've fully um, lacquered the piece. And the same with this because the, obviously the barrel goes on this piece here, so that doesn't matter. Um, and this is I've got to paint these black as well. But I just wanted to get the lacquer on there to protect the chrome finish. Um, and it's, 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 it's come out rather well, not as well as I'd hoped, but certainly a lot better some pieces I, I just could not for the life of me go it filled but yeah that's from from what it was to where it is now i'm pleased and i've got to weather it all yet i've got the screws to put in as well and there's the barrel the barrel piece is probably the, the one piece that's come out the best um in terms of of getting all the Striation lines out from the printing. Um, and it still has a, a, a decent mirrored finish on it for, for, for metal, anyway, and it's still got to be weathered. I actually have some what's called hot metal blue, um, which is going to go around the front here because it has like a as if it's been like charred um, from the whatever blast rays come out of the gun it's you can actually see it on the on the physical hero prop um bluing 
metal bluing on the on the front of the gun. So I'm going to have to. I'm, I've got some old clad hot metal blue, and I'm going to put that round there. I'll airbrush that under there, and then I have some um, just normal black matte paint that shall, I'll airbrush on onto the front as well, and onto here to like show sort of singeing and stuff like that. So that is the the barrel. That is the the handle section, and of course the mid section, and um, I've got the grips as well. So those I, I should, fingers crossed, start assembling this tomorrow, and I'll start working on the on the last piece which fits on the back here, on the back of the handle. Get that done tomorrow too. So fingers crossed, there's no more disasters. <laughs> so anyway, that being said. Bit of a, a a nice chill day at the beginning, and then frantic towards the end with a with a, with a walk for the doggy. <laughs> so we will see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.